Hey friends, how are you all doing? I hope you're doing great. Uh, today I'm going to show you the Game Guru Max Easy Terrain beta version. Here's just some uh, images. As you can see, you can have uh, custom textures. I'm sure I save them and change them, and it has an importer for all that. And here is the importer. You can see it can detect most uh, formats, and it can use uh, any type of uh, image you like and it has a upscaler and downscaler so the resolution you use don't matter here you can see uh, the trees how you can uh, there's many extra options you can adjust to place your trees in the correct uh, way you want them and here is a sample of the variation maps you can make and that is what I'm going to show you how to make this so we're just going to start the beta version here. Like that. And uh, then we can start. Uh, normally I start with the trees. And uh, if you just look at it here, you can see it don't look so good. We will just try to remove more trees from the slopes. You see they get removed now. And they, sh they shouldn't be there, so uh, that's one of the new options you can use. You see it's now clear on the slopes. You can set a high and uh, stuff like that. And also this is very important. It uh, will tell you exactly how many visible trees there is on the map. And you should try to get that as low as possible for performance reasons. So uh, you can do uh, different strengths and uh, try to get some. Now we're down to 14,000, so uh, that's pretty good. So uh, we'll keep that. Now, if you look at the trees here, they don't look very good. So uh, one tip you can use when you uh, do landscape with trees is to match the the grass with the color of the trees and here you can see we should take a dark grass type then you can't you nearly can't see that uh, it, it, it looks way better the trees you can just remove some uh, here now we're down to 11,000 so that's good so I was going to show you how to set up the variation map. So uh, we've got just going to zoom in here. And let's see if we can generate some random trees that allow us to see more, like this. Also, you can see here the rock side is not really beautiful. So I normally also change that to a darker one like that. You can check it from here. It looks way better now. Let's go down here and see if we have a spot. And then we will activate the variation maps and you simply just click this button and it get activated. And then you have another option with variations. And what we wanted to change was this texture. So I pick this one then we take uh, forest ground and then we have the options in in this layer too here in th with that bottom you have a layer fade distance I can show you uh, later what that is and you have a frequency and octaves and a cover area and that's what you can control in the variations and uh, we can just try to set uh, the frequency is uh, how large the they get. We can just try it with a zero and run it. As you can see, it's uh, small dots now. That don't look so... Yeah, well, it looks pretty good, but uh, I like to make them larger, the chunks, these chunks and uh, not so visible, like so.
and as you can see you get uh, some large chunks of the mixing and I think that looks way may perhaps a little larger well you should play around with this there's so many possibilities and it can look so great you chunks chunks Perhaps we should uh, have less of those, so we get a little more grass. That was not much, let's make it a little more. Yeah, so we get more grass now. I think that's uh, looking pretty well. So that's how you set up the variations map, and there are so many combinations shown you can try, and uh, it's pretty easy to set up. About the fading, we can try to ruin this map if we change this texture to black. It's the mud texture. It's pretty ugly, but. Uh, that's okay. And then we can take it down here. Perhaps we should look at it from another side. You can see it's a pretty... Yeah. <laughs> it's a... Uh, it don't look very nice. So uh, what we do now is uh, we take the face distance and change it. And what you will see is we get more sand mixed into the mud. So if I gotta grab this and make it a little smaller. You can see here you get the m mix of mud and sand because we have such a large uh, fade distance. You can see here one, oops. Also if we set it to one you can see it's a perfectly sharp edge and that's what the fade doesn't do it uh, faded out by distance so we get some pretty fade a lot of smooth fadings going on and the last thing i want to show you today is just uh, you can uh, you can change the textures as you wish we can just try to set up a completely new custom text folder and the, you can uh, load in an existing if you want to work on what you already have or you can create a new one we can call in totally new terrain next what if we do now is collect all the default biomes textures and use them as uh, as the base so you have the exact same texture sets at uh, yeah as the default BMs you have here and now you can just change them if I wanted to change this I could go, go in and import a texture oops I was gonna see where I have some custom textures. Just take a low poly. You don't need uh, any norms, and so it will create everything. If you're missing a roughness or a normal, it will just create it for you. So uh, we can just check uh, this one. It only has a uh, color texture, and then you give it a name. Grass two, that's fine. Or low poly, and import it. So it's now available, and we can use it uh, anywhere. Now we can try to see this here, and you can see it changes it here. So it's easy to use those uh, custom textures. Just a moment. Oh, sorry, there was somebody at the door. Oh yeah, where, where did it come from? Yeah, you can change the texture as you wish. We could try to import another one here. 
anything uh, what we have uh, 4k we can try this one perhaps this is a 4k uh, texture and we will, it will just uh, downscale it so it fits the terrain system the Google Max terrain system you can see it finds the files itself even if there are sort of some strings on here you can also invert the roughness if it's uh, yeah you need to do that sometimes but uh, you can see it if it's too shiny then you need to invert the roughness and then you just uh, import it yeah it can take some time to import it when it uh, it need to first downscale all the 4K textures to 2K, then uh, convert them and then import them. And uh, yeah, it's a uh, it can be a process. And then the quality compression is slow, but give you a good result in the end. So. Uh, so sometimes when you use 4K textures, it can take uh, some seconds, 30 seconds or something. Let's see how long it takes. Yeah, it's a bit, oh, okay, I think it's nearly there. Okay, let's check if it's there. And yeah, we have was our lava texture. And what you see here is exactly the same you can use inside uh, Game Guru in your occurrence levels. You can shut down this and just start the uh, Game Guru. Wait on again. And then you can use the custom uh, uh, folders you, you make directly in your levels. And uh, as it uh, uh, preserve all the default textures, you can just uh, replace the one you don't use in your biomes. You can see this biome use these, but uh, we can just change texture folder here. Let's see. Total new, we call it. And then we change texture folder. like that and you can see we have our our low polo and uh, our uh, lava texture and then you can just use it yeah and use them directly so that was just what I wanted to show you this time and then we can take a look at uh, how you produce a landscape and stuff like that later and uh, just to let you know, there's a beta available on pa Patreon that you can uh, download now and use it. So uh, I hope you like to support it and uh, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And remember to subscribe. Have a nice day.